Oh hi, it's me again. I hope you are doing well and thanks for joining me to another episode of Good Taste Zero Waste. Let me introduce you to someone quickly. Yeah, you're right. This episode is written by Melanie. In our last episode, we made an all-purpose cleaner from Citrus Peel. Want to know more? Check the link in the description below. So this time, we are going to make some delicious eats from Juice Pop. Eh, cho tomate! What is Juice Pop? It's all the leftover bits when you juice your veggies and fruits to make a refreshing drink. So don't throw them away or compost them straight away. Do store them in the freezer and use them for a bunch of tasty recipes. There are so many uses for juice pulp. Check this out. Option 1. Yummy omelette. Make an extra delicious omelette. Top tip is to use carrot, tomato or veg pulp. Start by whisking the eggs. Place them in a hot pan. When cooking, spread juice pulp to one side of egg, fold the egg and cook both sides evenly. Presto! It's done! So you may serve with your toes and your favourite cuppa. Alright, it's just like black coffee but it tastes the best. Full of fibres. Option 2. Healthy muffins. Next, surprise your friends with juicy full muffins. Tired of the same olive butter or vanilla or chocolate chip muffins? Add juice pulp to the recipe and you shall taste a burst of flavours for every bite. Mwah. Firstly, prepare the ingredients. Mix them well in a bowl. Add juice pulp and stir evenly. Top tip is to use red and green apple pulp for great tasting apple muffins. Add cinnamon for extra kick. Also try carrot, pineapple and orange pulp for fruity citrus muffins. Pour into prepared muffin pan and bake for 18 to 20 minutes in oven at 180 degrees Celsius or until toothpick at center of muffins come out clean. Set aside to cool, then tuck into fluffy and juicy full muffins. Bon appetito! Next is this super easy to make bread recipe that is also delicious. Firstly, prepare these ingredients. In a bowl, whisk the brown sugar, oil, granulated sugar and eggs. In another bowl, Whisk the flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt and cinnamon. Add the dry ingredients into first bowl in two additions. Add in one half cups of juice pulp, fold until evenly combined. Top tip is to use carrot and apple pulp for fruity flavours but any juice pulp is good too. Finally, bake in oven for 50 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or until toothpick at center of bread comes out clean. Let the bread cool before slicing and see all the yummy bits inside. Never eat boring bread again. For even easier recipes, try this for amazing results. Option 4. Nutritious soup or as a gravy thickener. Add juice pulp to any vegetable soups or when you are making stews for extra fiber. It will certainly make you fuller. Mm. 
So that's about it. We hope you are inspired by all this creative recipe. If you do, be sure to share it with your friends and families and it always means a lot if you could hit the like and share button. After all, we would like everyone to know about how to enjoy good taste in a zero waste madness. So till then, we will see you on our next awesome episode. Jumpa lagi! Thank you.